morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog today's monday and i decided to come right outside this morning and just hang out and work on some school work out here i do have my online lecture at 8 30. um i know most people are doing their classes on zoom but we're doing ours on microsoft teams and i've had quite a few questions about like how my classes were doing it i don't know about every professor at my university i just know about my classes that i'm in and they're being done on microsoft teams i just found out this whole quarantine situation has now been pushed until april 30th so that's fun drinking out of my fgcu mug and uh, just hoping that i get to go back to that place one day because who really knows it's so nice to sit outside in the morning and just like have nature highly recommend it this is my one chance to like get out of the house for the day i mean obviously i can come out here later but i live in florida and it's so hot like it literally is like been in the upper 80s 90s i can only really stand to be outside early in the morning or in the evening So I'm starting this new thing this week where I'm gonna start time blocking my days because I feel like it's just gonna hold me more accountable and make sure that I'm more productive despite the fact that I'm staying home. So I thought I would give you guys this tip because I really think it might help some of you guys as well who are struggling to like keep structure in your day when you're staying home all day. And this could be great if you're working from home or if you're in school, either one. Um, so I'm just kind of planning out like when I'm waking up, I have my chem lecture, I wanna start my laundry after that ends and have breakfast. And then I'm gonna do my online lab experiment at 10 a.m. and then the data analysis and the post lab quiz for that and then by 11 I'm gonna do my chapter 8 quiz and then I'm just gonna do some of the work for the genetics research paper not the entire thing because it's five pages long um, but I've done some of the research for it so I just want to start like initially writing and getting the paper together and then at 12 30 I'm gonna have lunch and I'm still planning out the rest of my day but I do think I'm gonna do my workout this evening because I want to get all of the like important school stuff done throughout the morning that way you know I have time for like leisurely stuff later rather than the other way around so that's my plan let me know if you guys decide to try this um, time blocking thing it's kind of nice to just like write it out and now I have like a schedule for my day I had my morning lecture now I'm about to start this big basket of laundry and then eat something for breakfast I am on my second cup of water for the day so super proud about that because last week I did not drink enough water so I'm really trying to up my game this week so having a little yogurt parfait for breakfast I was gonna make eggs and toast but I'm being lazy so we're just gonna have a yogurt parfait and this is just the two good yogurt with only two grams of sugar and this is blueberry so i'm gonna make like a blueberry yogurt parfait so i have a bunch of blueberries i'm just gonna put a bunch of these i decided to start putting my fresh fruit like immediately in one of these and rinsing it all off first instead of leaving it in the container and then rinsing as i go it just kind of saves time and it makes it easier so gonna be doing that now and then this is the granola that i've been using i'm really sad because i'm almost out this came from the farmer's market and i'm very very sad because i can't just go buy more i don't know when i'll be able to get this again so here is my online lab for the day um this is for a solution of conductivity factors and this is my lab manual i just have it pulled up on my ipad the experiment here and then he gave us this little like printout online for all of our data normally we have to record all of this in our lab notebook but he said he's not really worried about it because obviously we're not going to class so he's not going to be checking our lab notebooks so at this point we can just do it on a piece of paper and not have to like write out all of these so that's kind of nice so i'm just gonna eat my breakfast and work on this online lab experiment <laughs> starting my laundry and of course pulling out all of the lululemon stuff because that has to be dried separately chad recently bought these dryer balls so we don't use dryer sheets anymore we use these dryer balls so throw a couple of those in there now my lights there's never many i'm actually really shocked that he's up right now because both of them have been laying here like all day 
my lazy boys. I made a little bit of progress on my genetics paper and I also took a nap, which was amazing. And I wanted to show you guys these really cute slippers that I got. These are um, from Amazon and they're super cheap, but I've seen a lot of people wearing them and they're like $13 and they're the most coziest things ever. So I really like them. They come in other colors and they're just like soft and pretty. My package came in from Misguided and I'm so freaking happy. I just ordered a couple of loungewear sets and a bralette. So it was a pretty small order, but I want to share it with you guys anyway because it's a really good order. Um, so I got this set here and this is a pair of sweatpants and then a long sleeve like cropped sweater. And all of this stuff is the most comfortable in the world. So I'll have it linked below. Um, definitely good pieces if you're staying home all the time, like we all are. So this first set actually like came together so you didn't have to buy them separately and it was really, really cheap. Um, but the material's awesome, super, super soft and comfortable. And then the bottoms are these sweatpants that are the softest material ever. And the inside, it's not like that super hot fleece. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Like this is, if my camera could please just do its job okay there it goes so you can see the material is not like that fleece material so it doesn't make you super hot which is awesome because I want to be able to wear like sweatpants without feeling super sweaty because I live in Florida and it's hot here um, but these are super cozy to wear around the house and I love that the waistband is like very very stretchy so definitely a good thing if you want to just be completely comfortable but then have like that matching set so it still looks cute the other set i'm also obsessed with because it's my favorite like beigey color and this is actually like a sweatshirt material but it's actually a t-shirt i fell in love with this when i saw it because it's that oversized like t-shirt dress style so i could totally wear this with jeans or shorts as well and the sleeves are like short sleeve but they're that long style so it gives that like oversized fit and i love the seams on this as well so definitely a piece that i'm gonna wear more than just with this set but it also has these shorts so this one i did have to buy separately and the prices are not on here i can't remember but like i said i will link everything um but these are the shorts they're just like these high-waisted like sweatpants shorts and they have like these big awesome pockets i love these i love the color and they fit me perfect i already tried everything on and then I also got this bralette, which I thought would be really cute just to wear with either one of those pants if I just want to like lounge around in a bralette. Um, this is awesome because this bralette actually like is open back and it goes around the neck in the back. So I really like that. It's very cute and comfortable to wear around the house. So that's everything I got. It wasn't like a massive haul, but just some new loungewear pieces because I'm spending so much time at home. Wow, it is a while later. I am so sorry. I did not do a good job vlogging today, but you guys really did not miss out on much. I pretty much laid on my couch. I played Animal Crossing. I snuggled my dog, and I did a little bit of my genetics homework on my couch, so there was not really much to vlog about, but I'm about to go do my workout now. It always makes me feel better and like gives me some energy. with my workout and the sun went down obviously it's so dark out now um i love doing my workouts as the sun's going down wow i don't know what my hair is doing but seriously it is so nice doing your workout as the sun goes down and then you're just like finishing it as it's getting darker and it's i don't know it's like relaxing to me i'm making dinner now i'm just getting some water boiling and i'm gonna make this chickpea rotini and i'm gonna have it with tomato basil sauce and then i'm also going to pan sear this italian style smoked chicken sausage and throw this in with it for some added protein so that's gonna be my dinner this sauce looks amazing this is a different brand the farm to fork i've actually never tried that brand before i usually get a different organic brand 
and I can't even think of the name of it. Um, but that was literally all that was left. They, they were like out of everything when I got that. Um, it's kind of when things started getting bad. And I love this chickpea pasta. It's so good. And the only ingredient is chickpea. I love that. Got my noodles. Now I'm going to add some sauce. I'm going to cut up this Italian chicken sausage. Here is the outcome, and I'm just going to top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Bon appetit. Just finished the dishes. I'm gonna light my peach Prosecco candle that I got from Target. I hope my whole house smells like this candle because it smells so good. So this is what the rest of my night is going to look like. I've planted a bunch of flowers and I finally started working on my path. So I am just going to play my game for a little while and then go to sleep. So I will talk to you guys in the morning.